95.5 WFMS. Jim, Deb, Kevin. Hey, it's a Monday morning. It's great to have you by. Uh, you know you're a hillbilly win. Uh, De- Deb, was, uh, I think it was, oh. was it Friday I think you were talking about? Uh, yeah, your car. Yeah. Yes. And how you've had to... Uh, I did it again yesterday, as a matter of fact. Your, your fob isn't working quite correct. Explain well, yes. Yeah, so I, when I lock it, you know, you, you usually hear it chirp. Beep. Um, and so it stopped chirping, which means uh, we thought I could still hear it lock. I could hear the click, mm-hmm. but it wouldn't do the chirp. So since the chirp stopped... We noticed that if we locked it and like walked into Dick's Sporting Goods and came back out and Griffin would open his passenger door, he would open it before I even unlock the car. And I'm like, how's oh. your door unlocked? I heard it. I heard it lock. And then I, I said, you know what? The chirp's not been doing, uh, not been working. So I realized the actuator, I think, is out. I did some research. And uh-huh. uh, anyway, yeah. so I take a screwdriver and I open the passenger door and I, I turn it, this little lock thing on the passenger door. It's on the side of it. Mm-hmm. And when I do that, now it chirps again, but it only lasts about every six to seven closes. Got it. So I have to walk around. We did this at Ikea yesterday. I walk around. It's a I screwdriver. Do, yeah, and then, and then we're back in business. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, it's just to get into the passenger side. Correct. Or, or right. to lock it. Well, right. yes. you put this on Facebook on Friday, and we've had a ton of comments. We'd love to hear from you with your examples of you know your hillbilly win. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Amanda says, when you go to an event specifically for rednecks, and you fit right in. <laughs> uh, here I am. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sherry uh, says, when you hang a vintage chicken nesting box on your wall in the kitchen, and she posted a picture of it, oh, yeah. it's like something out of someone's barn, and she's hanging it on her wall. <laughs> you might be a redneck. Yeah, uh, when you say something like cattywampus, cattywampus. That means you're a redneck? Yeah, evidently. Or a hillbilly. Hillbilly. Got yeah. it. Uh, a lot of people use a screwdriver to start their car or their truck or unlock their door. There you go. Yeah, so they you're not alone handy. there. <laughs> a- absolutely. Now, someone posted a picture. It's not theirs. But they posted a shared a picture of someone uh, creating their own power window uh, on a uh, on the manual roll down of their window. They replaced that with a power drill. So you just hit the ground. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So go real fast and up real quick. Hey, let's work on your arm. That, that would work. Uh, that someone said that uh, it was Lisa. She said uh, when you have a, a toilet in the front yard and use it as a flower pot. I have seen that. Yes, and they're lovely. Uh, Randy I don't says, know about that. Randy <laughs> says when you use a padlock to lock your car door. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I have seen that, too. Hey, yeah. you got to keep your your belongings safe. A little chain safe. and a lock. Yeah. You know, no yeah. I've never there seen that. There usually has to be a certain amount of rust on that door to mo- <laughs> order for the chain to get through yeah. there. Right. Uh, and then, and then uh, Lee took this thing to a whole new level. Uh, Lee, uh, know you're a hillbilly when you use a uh, screwdriver to clean your ears. Okay, Ouch. that uh, does not yeah. sound safe. <laughs> Ouch. We had the mobile doorknob. Remember that? The knob came off, oh, but you still had to use it to push it back in just to turn it. Then we would lay it back on the set dryer. Pliers. Sure. Set of pliers. And a set of pliers, pliers also helped. All you oh, need. Yeah. That's, uh, well, you know you're a hillbilly win. Uh-huh. How about you? 317-255-WFMS, 317-255-9367. You know you're a hillbilly win. Fill in the blank. Duct tape is the most often used piece of oh, uh, equipment yeah. in our home. Yes. I think that makes me a hillbilly. Yep. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I'm calling about you know you're a hillbilly win. Win. When you use a mop handle to keep your trunk open so you can put your groceries in. Been there. <laughs> yeah, that little hydraulic lift doesn't work right, so you use a mop handle or a stick. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Hello, Sarah. Um, hi, I was just calling in about you might, you know, when you're a redneck or hillbilly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tell us. So my daughter, a few years ago, um, in school, it was Feast of the Favorites, and they had to bring in their favorite food. Mm-hmm. And my daughter mm-hmm. thought it was a good idea to bring chicken biscuit crackers and spray cheese for a <laughs> <piece> of favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's living high off the hog, what that is. Right? And she was so excited and very disappointed that nobody really tried her chicken crackers and spray cheese when she came home. <laughs> what, <laughs> the worst spray this? cheese alone is what gets me. <laughs> right? And I, I told her, I said, you can pick anything, hun. I said, you can have whatever you want. She was like, Mom, this is what I have to bring. I'm like, okay. I love it. So I got <laughs> emails from all her teachers, like, this was the greatest piece of the favorites they have ever right. had. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a hillbilly there, huh? I Chicken biscuit crackers and a spray cheese. <laughs> how, how, about, how about this one? This happened to me over the weekend. I get a call from my dad, 89 years old. <laughs> says he needs to borrow my pickup truck. And I'm like, okay, sure. And so I get there, and I think he's going to take it and go somewhere sure. with it. And he drives it in his backyard and gets in the back of the bed and trims his trees. With it. <laughs> oh, he needed the lift. Yeah, yeah I needed it. It's like a rolling uh, uh, scaffolding for him. And then he would say, I said, Dad, let me do it. And he's like, no, I got it. I got it. And then he had me get 
in the cab and drive it a few feet the while he stood right. in the back of the bed and because we walked down the, the, the row, the, the, the tree right, row. Right, right. Actually, it was, might be it was a, very effective. For, you know, it was pretty smart thinking. Not good for an 89-year-old yeah, guy, yeah, that's for sure. Might be a hillbilly. Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> right, right. Classified I, that. Exactly. I know I had a, a car once where the, the seat, the driver's side seat, <clears throat> the back part of it wouldn't stay out. It had to just lay back down. Like it reclined? Yeah. So oh. it's pretty tough to drive that way. So sure. I got the spare tire out of the trunk and... <laughs> Put it back behind that. And Propped it up? So you right wedged the spare tire behind yeah, your seat? It worked fine. Yeah. Until you had his flat tire. <laughs> yeah. Then, then you're, out of tr- you're out of luck on that one there. But uh, you mm. might be a hillbilly when.